Hello everyone, my name is Oworo Ted, the founder of Road Safety and Safe Driving Practices. Did you know that vehicles are only designed to take one command at a time? Probably you are asking, what? Did you know vehicles are designed to take one command at a time? Asking the vehicle to brake and steering at the same time is a disaster. And that is why I have to bring this to your knowledge. Recently, we saw an incident caught on tape. The Pullman bus, Pullman Tourism Company bus, plunging right into the ocean. A lot of people made different assumptions. A lot of people brought out their many arguments. Number one, the ramp at the ferry is wet. Tire grip is key. But however rough the ramp is, the ocean water is salty and it has algae. Algae, algae, depending with the school you went. So I will call it algae. The tides keep on changing, so we cannot have a constant level of water from the ocean. At times the tides are low, the ramp dries up, at times the tides are high, it goes higher. Asking the vehicle to brake and steer at the same time is a disaster. And that is what we saw happening. If you watch this video, you realize that the driver was coming in. I know very well. Going into the ferry, buses cannot go straight. So they have to make an incline. A small incline so that the first wheel goes, the, the second wheel, and then the two rear wheels go into the ferry. But on this occasion, you see hand-cut pushers. At the entrance of the ferry, but remember there is a line. You know, there is this habit of us overlapping as Kenyans. The US, they keep right. In the UK, they keep left. In Kenya, the road is the road. So for him, the road to the ferry was the road to the ferry. And I believe this is not his first time to be at the ferry. So he decides to over, overlap so that he can bypass the crowd of the people at the handcart. But then the vehicle is designed to go forward, to move forward. And that is why anything that takes them to the side forcefully is fought with the G forces. The G forces will always push the vehicle in a straight line. If this is your vehicle, it will be pushed and that is why the engineers had a smart mind that in as much as the jeep forces are pushing your car you can always try and steer and then the vehicle is pushed but it takes the direction of the wheels as it moves straight it takes the direction of the wheel when you step on the brakes and you're steering it is a disaster because the vehicle cannot take those two good demands. They are good demands because you want to avoid by steering and you want to stop by uh, stepping on the accelerator. Same thing happens with the accelerator and steering. There is an acceleration steering relationship. It has to be one command. That is why we tell you when you are approaching a bend, brake before you enter the bend. If you want to accelerate into the bend, accelerate before you enter the bend. Because when you do these two, you are either going to have an understeer or you are either going to have an oversteer. Then, at the ferry, we are not blaming the vehicle because if you watch well the the wheels are locked and the bus is sliding slowly into the water the disaster
So, what should you do at the ferry? Number one, follow law and order given by the security person at the ferry. Follow that queue. Don't be in a rush to go into the ferry. The human mind keeps to tell us that ah, you can always find a way, you can always squeeze. Because if you look at this video well, there is a line, there is a queue. Behind this hand cut, guys, there is a maroon car, there are vehicles that are following them. But as that Pullman bus slides and slips into the water because of the G forces, the vehicle designed to move in a straight line, seconds later, as it drips into the ocean, another bus almost slightly misses. The driver mentality, these are human cost hazards. The driver mentality, we can always squeeze. Hand cut pushers and pullers are road users. In this category, we must respect them. They are in the line, I believe they are in the line. And the person with the, in the car behind them is very sane. He knows this is a category of road users. Some of these mistakes are completely avoidable. But you find that uh, we always want to have a shortcut. Professionalism is not out doing what, is, what needs to be done. Professionality is obediently doing what needs to be done. On that lucky day, nobody died but that was a lesson i know buses cannot go into the ferry straight because of the way they are made they would probably uh, have the bumper damage or the rear side damage once you are in the water what do you need to do find this in the continuation that is coming thank you